Hi, George here. I want to show you how you can change or replace a background using Photoshop elements just like that. There we go. Going from this to this. At the moment, this only works in Photoshop Elements 2023 and 2024. And that's right down here where it says Elements Web. Let's take a look at this. Click on Elements Web. And this takes you over here onto the website. And it's elements.adobe.com creations. So you need to log into your Photoshop Elements account. And then right here, Auto Background. Now the Elements Web, again, it's beta right now, so there's not a lot. All we have is Auto Background, Moving Overlay, Peek Through Overlay, Pattern Overlay, Photo Collage, and Slideshow. These are all things that are basically done in the guided edits in the regular Photoshop Elements. But you can do all this here online. And this is useful if you're using a smartphone possibly, or if you're using a tablet, some other mobile device, and want to have access to just a few things for some real fast work. You can then take it over into the desktop version of Photoshop Elements for even more work if you want to. Let's see how this works. I'm first going to switch back over to the desktop version. And let's close this file down. There we go. I'm not even going to save that. And back over to Elements Web. And this beta showed up in Photoshop Elements 2022. These new things here, these four, were added in 2023. And there are three buttons up here. The home page. Here's a little overview video about this program here. And you can also download the desktop application. There we go. And there's a mobile app that works along with this whole thing. So it's set up to work as a system. And then we have the media page. This is where you have your images in here. You see way back here, I did some stuff back in 2022 when this first came out. Here's a few things that I put up here just the past couple of days. And here's what we're working with today. To bring a new picture in, just click on add. You can then upload here from your computer or network, whatever you want. And then on creations, we can do any of these creations in here. Now, what I'm focusing on today is the auto background right over here. So go ahead and take a look at this one. Click on auto background. Then choose one of your images. I'll just choose this one that we just saw as a preview there. Click on continue. And it's going to change the background for us. It was pretty fast too, of course, because it is online. It's using the online power, not the power of our computer. So if you have a tablet or even a smartphone, this will still work just as well. And then it gives you this choice of different backgrounds. Let's go through some of these. There you go. See how nice I got all those little hairs in here. I mean, just beautiful job in there. Scroll down. Quite a few more potential backgrounds in here. Now, you're limited to these backgrounds at this point, but we can take this over to the desktop and then do even more. So if I was doing this on my smartphone, I'd have a choice of these different backgrounds. But that's okay. Now, if you want to, you can download your image right here. You can save your image right here or open in desktop app. So it's then going to take this and bring it over to the desktop. Let's take a look at that one. Open in desktop app. And it says making a layered document. And that's the key here is that we'll then be getting this as layers, which means we have a lot more flexibility once this thing is finished. We don't have any layers here on the Elements web. We will have layers over in the desktop version of Photoshop Elements. And there we go. I'll just dock that up here. So we have our new background here. Here's the original image. Here it is on white, and here it is with transparency. I can then put anything I want to behind her with this layer here. So it actually separates out the foreground subject as a new layer with a transparent background, giving us total flexibility. It then gives us this inside of Elements Web, and of course, there's everything else. So real fast, real easy. Now for real high quality fine tune job, I'd probably come in here and take out some of the little wispy hairs up here that don't look so hot. Just do a little bit of touch up here and there. It would be nicer if I had this as a layer mask instead of this, but we don't have that. But this does allow you to, as you can see, quickly and easily change the background, including all of that really difficult hair masking. That's all done for you right there. This is the, probably the fastest way and the easiest way to get nice hair masking done here inside of Photoshop Elements. This could be a very useful little and very quick tool if you need to do some fast hair masking like this. It's actually much faster than any other method I've found to mask hair and change the backgrounds here and do a good job of it. If you want to help me keep on making videos like this here on YouTube, consider hitting that thanks button right down there, bottom right hand corner of the video. Take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. I have different versions for Elements going back several years. And you'll find all of that on my How To Gurus website. I also have training there for Adobe's Lightroom program. And that's also where you'll find my Photoshop Elements Photo Coach, which is a great tool for answering all those questions you have about how to use Photoshop Elements. Ask it a question to find the answers for all those things you just want to have a bit more information about how it's done. Things that you won't normally get inside of video training, even in my video training. I don't go into that much detail or depth, but I do in the photo coach. Right now, there's over 300 different articles in there all about how to use Photoshop Elements. 
I'm putting new things in there every single month. And I'm beginning to put in a few more things in there that are outside of Photoshop Elements like the Elements Plus plugin. I'm beginning to put in some training on that as well into the photo coach. So it just gets better every single month. And you'll find the link for that, of course, on my How To Gurus website. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.